I think that some of the best characters in Genshin Impact are the nice, warm, and fuzzy ones like Goro and Tignari. They have nice ears and tails, and I think they look neat. That being said, I need a new challenge for this game. And what's better than beating Genshin Impact with only our furry friends? The rules go as followed. I may only use furry friends, or basically characters whose animals they represent have fur. This currently includes Sucrose, Diona, Goro, Tignari, Yaimiko, Kirara, Lynette, Ganyu, and Yanfei. This does not include any non-furry animal friends, such as Fischl, Kokomi, Nuvillette, Xiao, and any other animal characters. 2. Any imposter furry characters and pets are allowed, but only one per team. This currently includes Razor, Dea, Kuching, Ryothsli, Sino, Sayu, Amber, Xiangling, and Yao Yao. My main goal for this challenge is to reach the bottom of floor 12 in the Spiral Abyss using the rules above. I also want to try completing as much of the content in this game as possible and try to perfect my account to the best of my ability. Now, with all our ground rules placed, we will begin. I made a new account, defeated Duvalin for the first of many times, and pulled. Oh my god, I can't believe my eyes. Yeah, just kidding. I, um, I had been pulling for an only Goro challenge I was planning, and I never got him. I made 25 reroll accounts, and I never got Goro. But I did get this gem of an account, and I thought this would be a good time to start a only furry friend account. I know it does make the challenge easier, sorry, but I really wanted an excuse to use Tignari because I do not own him on my main account. This was a great start to the account. Uh, we have two furry friend characters that are not Amber, because I can't imagine trying to do this challenge with only Baron Bunny. But... I did not notice this until doing one of the domain challenges, but my recording looks like this. So you're just gonna have to bear with me until I realize my mistake and I figure out how to fix it. I decided against skipping Amber's domain because there wasn't really any benefit to me skipping it. So I went through Amber and Kaya's domain perfectly fine, picking up Animoculi and locking the Statue of Seven along the way. That was until Lisa's domain. I knew you could skip it with the wind, but I tried again and again, and I could not make it to the top of the ledge. I got confused and slightly frustrated, so I stopped my recording, and that's when I saw it. My recording had gone to shambles. I had gotten a new laptop, which is why I'm finally able to make videos, and I had tested the recording for only a few seconds before, and then right before I decided to start recording this series, I changed one setting and it had, for some reason, managed to make my recording look like this. So, for the remaining attempts of me trying to get on the ledge, it was also attempts of trying to fix my recording and I could not figure out what was wrong. I tried again and again and I could not make it. And I was about to give up. I was like, what in the world? How can I not do this? Did they patch it? No. And finally, thank you, Miss Defeat, I realized I just had to run. And then I made it. And then I fell. I failed a couple more times and then I finally made it again. And then I carefully made my way to the end of the domain. I was happy to finally get AR7 because that's when I got my free 10 pull from the game rewards, which means I can finally pull for Kirara. I'm not really that interested in Sino because he's not very good of a character and he's also an imposter and that just wouldn't really benefit my account that much. But it's okay. What I'm really looking for is Kirara because she has a nice shield, but I only have 20 hours. I did my 10 pull and oh, I got Beidou. That's okay. She's not featured on this banner, which means I'm guaranteed a featured character next, right? See, the thing about Sangling is yeah, she has Guoba, but also you get her for free. So I wasn't very happy, but it's okay. I didn't really know what to do after, so I just flew down and started exploring the area. There was a meek that came out of this chest, I thought it was silly. Sometime along the way, I got assaulted by a whopper flower, probably as revenge from the first one I violated, but I can't show the footage from that because it was so pixelated. I fought a rune guard and my numbers barely hit double digits, so I figured I should finally do some building because I never really did any before this. I didn't want to do any more exploring, so I went to Catherine since I never actually picked up my adventure rank rewards 
I also wanted to get the Adventurer's Handbook because it really helps me level up quicker so I can get back to the story. I did a poll, got nothing, and then I decided to start the character quest so they wouldn't stop me when I got to the end of the Mondstadt Archon quest, but then randomly decided to download the Chinese dub and then I forgot about finishing the character quests. On the way to the Statue of Seven at the Dawn Winery, I was reminiscing on how the fight with the Animal Ball to unlock it was once so hard for me, and then I actually got worried I would struggle to unlock it on this account. I went into battle, and um, it was not that hard. It reminded me of this one time challenge that's actually nearby that I thought you had to use co-op mode for it because it was so hard, but it actually wasn't. I went back to finish the character quest, and then I remembered that I forgot to put the Animoculi in the Statue of Seven that I had just unlocked. Submitting the Animoculus to the Statue of Seven gave me AR-10, so I finally got my free fates. I decided against the Noel banner because it doesn't have any characters after 1.0 and I didn't really care enough, so I pulled on standard. I didn't even realize it was gold at first. I genuinely did not believe it. This 5 star could have been anything. It could have been a 5 star we couldn't use in this challenge. It could have been an imposter furry friend. It could have been a totally useless weapon like Skyward Pride. I was so scared. And then it happened. I got Skyward Harp. Like the fact that I got an early Tiknai all the way at the start and the first 10 pull. And then a bit later to get another 5 star. A 5 star that goes along with the 5 star we got before. It was incredible. So then... I watched the sun set with my Tignari and his newfound weapon. I did a few pulls on Sino's banner in hopes for Kirara. I got a 4 star, but it wasn't her. So I decided to continue the Archon quest. It wasn't anything new. Jean, DeLuke, and Venti joined together with the Traveler and Paimon to defeat the Abyss Order, who's taken control of one of the four winds, Devalin. After finishing Act 2 of the Archon quest, I explored some more and went to Liwa, as I was AR locked from continuing the quest. I logged off and then I logged back on like two weeks later. I don't know why, but at least I got Stellar Reunion. The time of logging on was on Navia's banner, so I did a pull and got Sucrose! Hooray! We finally had a full team. I partook in child labor, then I went to unlock the Monsat weapon domain because I finally had an animal character. I was doing ley lines when I realized that Tignari was not making this much of a challenge at all, so I decided I'll be banning him off the team until I get to Inazuma, but only after I give him one final challenge. A cool quirk about me is that Dragonspawn is one of my favorite regions, to the point sometimes I would make alt accounts or log into my friends accounts just to explore the Dragonspawn to 100%. I basically knew every chest in a gate location by heart at this point. My point being, I got to AR-15 and Dragonspawn was calling me. I already knew my way around Dragonspawn, so I decided I wouldn't even unlock the Statue of Seven until I completed everything that there is. I don't really have much to say about my experience in Dragonspine, actually. It was pretty therapeutic, and I actually didn't struggle as much as I thought I would. It's the earliest I've gone, after all. The combat got tedious at times, given that Globo was my only source of pyro, but it really wasn't that bad at all, and a little challenge made it fun, even if Thignai was carrying me a little. I did both of the infamous time challenges first try, but I prefer the ones with the Ruin Guards because it's basically just a showcase of my characters. I finished the In the Mountains quest, and it was actually pretty funny that I wasn't even high enough AR to claim the domain, but I wasn't done yet. Over the course of me exploring Dragonspine, I was also collecting everything for the side quest there was, for which once I finished, I would be able to claim most of the rewards. Of course, some of the quests required me to go back, but it was easy. I stopped to see the nice view, and then I was done. I unlocked the Statue of Seven, and looking back at me was the big yellow hundred. Starting at AR-15 and ending at AR-20, I completed the entirety of Dragonspine without even unlocking the Statue of Seven first. Granted, there were a few things I didn't totally complete. I got 79 out of 80 Crimson Agates. I did this all in one day, so I couldn't unlock the chest you get by feeding the foxes for a few days. As a celebration for finishing Dragon's Spine, I used the standard fates I got from the tree. Super cool. I didn't immediately put Yao Yao on the team because I wanted to keep Xiangling, but this will definitely be useful later. I quickly finished up the Monset Archon quest, and then started Razor Story Quest. Around this time was the Celia event, and I wanted to pick a color that I didn't have on my main account, so I picked Violet, and then I realized I literally have Violet, so I got a Celia that doesn't even match any of my characters for no reason, but it's whatever. Back to the challenge, it was time for me to begin the Leoway Archon Quest. Unfortunately, I lost most of the footage for it. It was a mix of me trying to do it at school, and OBS just freaking up my recordings. Somewhere along the way, OBS decided that I do not have enough storage space to record more than an hour of recording, even though I do, so I would forget to stop and continue and just lose everything. 
This does include the final battle with Child and Osaya, which is super upsetting because I was actually happy with how the fight went. It's whatever though. I have two files that are both like 4 gigabytes big, but I can't access them, so I'm assuming those are just my stupid files that OBS messed up. To review the footage I do have, I didn't skip the cloud retainer domain because I didn't know how, so I had to painstakingly do the pyro monument puzzle with Guoba. It wasn't fun, but it's okay because at least I did it authentically, I guess. Trying to kill bosses to ascend my characters without Tignari is not for the faint of heart, by the way. But I persevered. I probably should have mentioned this earlier, but also all the footage of this video was recorded like 2-3 months ago, so I genuinely forgot the order of a lot of things that happened. It does explain why everything in this video is out of order, but I think that just makes me cooler, maybe. At some point, I got Air 25 and was able to claim my Lynette, which is pretty cool too, because I would be able to have a full team again. I did some research and then I realized that Lynette is not that good of a character, but it's okay, you get what you get. I collected all but one of the Animoculi, the last one being the Animoculus on the unnamed island since I can't get there yet. I did try to collect all the Geoculus, but I gave up pretty early since there's a lot more of that. I did do Chi of Guyan, uh, Chi of Yor. I did that quest because I think it has pretty nice rewards just for some puzzle solving and it was actually the first time I did it without even searching up the answers. It was enriching. I originally wasn't going to allow co-op in this challenge and I'm still not really going to like use co-op for anything important. But I went AFK once and I came back and I had a friend request, which was pretty odd because it's not like I had showed this account really. I accepted it because surely if this guy needs something so bad that he needed to add me, then uh, you know he might just have it. But oh my god, this guy was insane. He started cursing at me and threatening me because I didn't let him into my world, but I was literally AFK. I digress. I did the ascension quest which is so easy now I didn't even realize how easy they made it which I think they shouldn't have but you'll never believe what I got from the two fates from ascending. My sister had just walked into my room and I was straight up freaking out because this account is so young with three five stars now. Granted I can't use Chi Chi but that doesn't even matter because I have three five stars on this account. And that's it for the Liyue arc. It's really unfortunate that most of it has been lost so it wasn't really a Liyue arc but that's in the past now. After that, I stopped playing for a while because I got busy with school, but I finally got on for two things, Gaming and Yaimiko. This is how it went. And that is the end for today. Thank you so much for watching this if you made it this far. If you have any suggestions or comments, please leave them down below and I'll try to respond to all of them. Have a good day, night, whenever you're watching this. Bye!